Guru Nanak was followed by nine successor gurus who further elaborated on his message of universal love and brotherhood. They made significant contributions to the development of Sikh institutions. Human dignity and justice form a cornerstone of Sikh teachings. Sikh history speaks of tremendous sacrifices in the cause of freedom and justice. Two Sikh gurus, the fifth guru, Arjun Dev, and the ninth guru, Teg Bahadar, were martyrs. During the British rule, over two-thirds of the freedom fighters who fought for Indian independence were Sikhs, despite the fact that Sikhs form less than 2% of India's population. The Sikh religion is strictly monotheistic, believing in one supreme God, free of gender absolute, all-pervasive, eternal, and the one and only creator. This universal God of love is attained through His grace, sought by service to humankind. Sikhism views life not as a fall from grace, but a unique opportunity to discover and develop the divinity in each of us. From Guru Nanak's time, over 500 years ago, until today, the Sikh places of worship, Guru Duwaras, exist all over the world, run free community kitchens which provide free meals to the needy of all backgrounds. These kitchens are manned and funded by volunteers. The Sikhs believe it serves to teach the concept of equality by shattering all barriers of class and caste. Today, there are Sikh blue-collar workers and taxi drivers. There are Sikh business executives, research scientists, doctors, professors, lawyers, athletes, and stockbrokers. And there are Sikh farmers in the North American society. And almost 25% of farmland in California is owned by Sikhs. In fact, farmer Dalip Singh Saad, a Sikh, was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1956, one of the first members of a minority group to reach such a high office. Personally speaking, I'd like to have the first Sikh reserve assigned to my station, the Walnut Diamond Bar Station. I think it'd be awesome. Uh, um, addendum to the staff here and I think it'd be a very positive sign of the community. Perhaps the Sikh prayer offers the clearest insight into the core beliefs of the people. The Sikh religion was evolved as a progressive and dynamic religion in order to fight against tyranny and oppression and to protect the weak and oppressed. Sikhism has championed the concept of freedom and democracy and has remained a peaceful religion with goodwill towards all. Says Nanak, may thy name be the eternal inspiration and thy will bestow prosperity upon all creation. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of Sikh history, beliefs, and traditions. Just one of so many rich cultures that make up the fabric of our United States. At work, in public, and in every aspect of our lives, we must respect one another for our differences, remembering just how much in common we all share as members of the human race.